Hi, I'm Carla and I'm a research analyst and ingredient safety expert here at EWG. Did you hear about the male frog exposed to a chemical found in tap water that ended up with female anatomy? Unfortunately, that's what actually happened when frogs ingested atrazine, a chemical found in the tap water of 70 million Americans. Endocrine disrupting chemicals are all over the place. There are thousands of these chemicals, and most of them are manufactured. But some do occur naturally, and they're lurking in our food, food packaging, household cleaners, beauty products, water, and they're even in our furniture and dust. You might remember from science class that the endocrine system is a network of hormone-producing glands. It's essential to every phase of your body's development, including metabolism, sleep, and reproduction. Endocrine disruptors can play tricks on our bodies by mimicking naturally occurring hormones, such as estrogen or thyroid hormones. Endocrine disruptors, like atrazine, can throw a wrench into how the system's receptors work. These chemicals can increase the production of certain hormones or decrease the production of others. They can even interfere with hormone signaling. So either way, they throw off your hormonal balance. The result is a wide array of possible health effects, including reproductive issues, risk of low birth weight and behavioral problems, obesity, diabetes, and even some types of cancer, even at very low doses of exposure. And here's the kicker. Developing fetuses, infants, and children are all even more vulnerable to all of these negative effects since their immune and metabolic systems are still in development. So. What can you do? Well, it's nearly impossible to avoid exposure to these contaminants completely, but you can minimize your risk by reducing exposure as much as possible with what we at EWG call the Dirty Dozen list of endocrine disruptors. The list includes the most common endocrine disruptors out there, like flame retardants, pesticides, mercury, lead, and BPA. So here are a few things you can do to limit your exposure. Don't buy clothes or furnishings made with flame retardants or water-resistant coatings. You can dust frequently and choose a vacuum with a HEPA filter. Steer clear of plastic wrap and canned foods, both of which can contain endocrine disruptors. And avoid nonstick cookware and utensils. Instead, opt for cast iron or stainless steel. If you'd like to learn more ideas about minimizing the effect of endocrine disruptors on you and your family, Check out the full Dirty Dozen list of endocrine disruptors at ewg.org slash dirty dozen endocrine.